Hey guys, that's me and I'm going to teach you accounting. We've been dipping our toes into certain concepts. Today is the magic bullet. Okay, I've been talking about equity equals assets minus liabilities. Equity equals assets minus liabilities. Now the magic code is that you put these onto T accounts and you write minus plus plus minus minus plus okay minus plus plus minus minus plus this is all you ever need to know about accounting so when you get to the exam write that on your exam paper so that you have it and so that you do not get confused and then you'll be fine you'll pass okay awesome what do we do with this so in accounting you'll hear them talk about debits and credits Debits and credits, credits and debit. What account do you want to debit? What account do you want to credit? All of that nonsense. It's very, very simple. They're talking about a general ledger account that looks like a T account. It'll always have a name here. Name. The left hand side, so this side, will always be the debit side. And the right hand side will always be the credit side. Now what's more is that you never have one in isolation. There will always be two. So there will always be another one. Still, the debit side and the credit side and whatever account it is over here, the name. Okay, name. Now let's say this one is an asset. Okay, so let's say over here we have an asset. So an asset would be something like a vehicle. Okay, now let's say we are busy selling, selling a vehicle. So two things happen when we sell a vehicle. The vehicle, okay, so we have the vehicle, and then we have cash. So what's going to happen is our vehicle is going to go away, but there's going to be cash coming into our bank account. Okay, so... There's the vehicle and the cash. So here, the two T accounts or the two general ledger accounts will be vehicle and then bank. Okay, debit is always left, credit is always right. Now, are we going to debit or credit vehicles? Now, the way to figure this out is to say, all right, vehicles, let's make it like so. Vehicles is an asset. When we sell an asset, the account goes down. It gets less. Okay, So it gets less by, what was this worth? Let's say it was worth 80000 Okay, So that was the cost price, was 80000 But now we're selling it. Okay, So it gets less over here with 80000 And then on this side... The bank is going to get more. So minus plus plus minus, the bank is going to get more. So we're writing on this side. The money is coming from a vehicle that we sold, and it's 80,000. Okay, and that is how accounting works. So what happened here? We credited vehicles and we debited bank. And this transaction shows us that bank went up with 80,000 Rand and vehicles went down with 80,000 Rand and that is accounting because it balances so if this scale over here not a great scale but there we have a scale we had 80 and 80 so it's fine it balances there's two legs there's a debit and a credit everything is cool and that is done so that's the asset side of it let's look at liabilities so a liability is something like a long-term loan, okay, a long-term loan. So let's assume that we started a business, we took out a long-term loan of 100,000 Rand, that we are now going to repay half, half of it. So we took out a loan of 100,000 Rand, we are now going to repay half of that. Okay, so firstly... The first account would be loan, so that's our long-term loan. 
the next account will be bank. Bank. Now we're going to start with bank. We quite like bank, it helps us think. When we repay a loan, what's going to happen to the bank account? So we've got money in the bank, we're now going to take it out of the bank account and put it into the loan account. So what's going to happen with our bank, our bank balance? It won't go up because we're going to take money out, so it's going to go down. Which side does bank go down? Bank is an asset, asset, an asset goes down on the right hand side. So we're going to write here. Okay. This is the credit side. Because we're writing on the credit side with bank, I can tell you already, you don't even have to figure this out, we are going to be writing on the left hand side for loan because there's always a left and a right. Okay. It also makes sense if you use this at the top here, our little crip note. Because a loan is a liability, okay, a loan is a liability. Now, is our loan, our liability, going to go down? Or is our loan going to get bigger? Is it going to plus? Is it going to increase? Is it going up? Now, if we repay half of our loan, the loan outstanding is going to be less. So we're going to minus the amount we owe. The, the, the actual liability of 100,000 is going to go down to 50,000. Okay, it's going to go down. So our liability is going down on the left. So on the bank side, we write loan. And how much are we paying? 50,000. Then on the loan side, we're going to write bank. And it's also 50,000. And there you go. Remember, left is always the debit side. Right is always the credit side. So, we are going to debit loan and we are going to credit bank. And there we go. That's liabilities. Now, let me show you an expense. How do we do the general ledger for an expense? Now, expenses are something like interest we need to pay. So if I have to pay interest, it's an expense. So here we go, I'm going to pay interest of let's say 10,000 Rand. Okay, let's say I'm going to pay interest of 10,000 Rand. Now again, there must be two accounts. There must be one I can debit and one I can credit. Okay, if I pay something, how do I pay it? I pay it out of my bank account. So my bank account will be my first general ledger account. And then what am I paying? I'm paying interest. So that's my second one. Okay. Now we've remembered debit is always on the left and credit is always on the right. Interest. What is interest? Is it an asset? No, because it's not something we use to make money. Is it a liability? Is interest a liability? So no, because it's something we need to pay right now. It's an expense that we paid already. So we've paid it, so it's an expense. Now over here with equity, it includes income and expense. Expenses, okay? Equity there includes income and expenses. So, start with bank. It's just, it's easier, we like bank, bank makes us happy. Start with bank. If you're going to pay interest, are you going to debit bank or are you going to credit bank? Now don't let the word debit and credit confuse you, just go back to our crypt notes and say the bank is an asset. If I pay something, my asset is going to go down. My bank balance will go down. So I'm going to write over there. Now because bank I'm going to credit, I know already that interest I will have to debit because there's always a right and a left, a left and a right. Okay. If we look at our crypt notes here for income and expense, an expense so that's a minus and that's a plus. So the expense is going to make our equity less. So 
so that's why we're going to write it here. It's going to make our equity less. So bank, we write here interest, and the amount was 10,000. And on the interest side, we write bank, and we write 10,000. And guys, this is how easy accounting is. This is it, okay? You're going to get a mark because it's the right account. You're going to get a mark because it's the right name. You're going to get a mark because it's the right there. Another one, another one, another one. For something like this, you're going to get loads of marks. And it is not the end of the world. Like, it's not that complicated. And this is accounting. This is what accounting is. So, when you get to the test, when you get to the test, write down equities equals assets minus liabilities. Put them on T-accounts. And remember what to start with. You start with a minus. And then you go minus, plus, plus, minus, minus, plus. So they go this way, then this way, then this way. But don't mess that up. Because if you mess that up, you're going to be seeing me again next year. Okay, so get the minuses and the pluses right. So minus and a plus, a plus and a minus and a minus and a plus. Now, I wish I had you guys live here in front of me. Because I would have asked you what is the next account I should do. But you're not here, so let me pick one. And let me say we are going to buy equipment. Okay, we're going to buy equipment. So if we buy equipment, our first account is equipment. They won't tell you, but how do you buy equipment? Generally, you buy it out of your bank account. So your second one will be bank. Okay, now we like bank. Bank makes us happy. Start with bank. Start with bank, it's just easier. Now, with bank, which side goes up and which side goes down? We look here at our crypt notes. Bank is an asset. An asset goes up on this side and down on this side. Now, I'm going to buy equipment, which means I'm going to take money out of my bank account, out of my bank account, which means it'll go this side. Equipment is also an asset that will be going up because I'm buying equipment, I'm going to have more of it. So I'm going to write on this side. And then we just swap the names. So on the bank side, we write equipment. And then on the equipment side, we write bank. And then the amount, did I say an amount? I can't remember. Let's say it was 50,000 Rand. So we put in 50,000 Rand. Super! That is how easy accounting is, guys. If you've got the drift, you can quit the video, but I'll keep on going just to make it very, very clear. So let's do something where we get money in. So let's say we have um, sales. Ooh, no, that one's complicated. That's another video. Let's say we are oh, just easy, rental income. Okay, so let's say we are getting rental income. of 6,000 Rand. So obviously you're clever enough to buy property, which is always a good idea, buy property, uh, and you're getting rental income. So your first account name is rental income. And your second account, if you're getting money in, is the bank. If you're unsure in the exam, just choose bank because it's generally bank is the right account, okay? It's generally the right account. Also, we like bank, start with bank. It'll give you marks, lots and lots of marks. So start with bank. Now, are we going to debit bank or are we going to credit bank? So what's happening here? We're getting rental income. It's money coming in. So what's going to happen to your bank balance? Will it go up or will it go down when you get money in? It'll go up. So it'll obviously be this side. Okay. If this is the left, where we know rental income will be the right. And then we just fill in the details. So the bank will be a rental income of 6,000 Rand. And rental income will be on the credit side, bank, 6,000 Rand. And you can know this as well because by the income and expenses, it will make the equity more. When you get money in, your equity will go up. Great, guys. Okay, so, yeah, we've been toying around with a lot of stuff. This is accounting. This is really all you need to know. And uh, now it's just a matter of filling in, filling in the blanks. Um, what I suggest you do is just write this down on your exam paper 
And while you're studying, try and figure out the list of assets, the list of liabilities, and the list of equity or income and expense accounts that they generally expect us to know for first year accounting. All right. Good luck. Cheerio. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it.